Sultanzada Sivan Karpasabar C. Mehmet Pasha was an Ottoman Grand Vizier. His epithet, Sultanzada, means son of an Ottoman princess, because Myrima Sultana, the daughter of Suleiman I, was one of his grandmothers. Also two former Grand Viziers Rustam Pasha and Sagal Azad Yusuf Sanar Pasha were his grandfathers. Sometimes the epithets Sivan Karpasabasi and Semis are also used. Early years Mehmet Pasha was the grandson of Yemisai Hassan Pasha. In 1638, Mehmet Pasha was appointed as the governor of Egypt. Three years later, during the reign of Ibrahim, he returned to Istanbul as a vizier in the Ottoman Divan. In 1641, he was appointed as the governor of Ozedu and tasked with capturing the fort of Azik, which had recently been lost to Cossacks. He was successful in recapturing the fort. In 1643, Mehmet Pasha was appointed as governor of Damascus. This appointment was probably due to a secret power struggle between him and the Grand Vizier Kemanx Mustafa Pasha. As governor of Egypt, Mehmet Pasha was appointed the governor of Egypt Ayelet in 1638. In February 1638, Sultan Murat IV ordered Mehmet Pasha to send him 1,500 troops to help on the Sultan's expedition to conquer Baghdad. The army mobilized in May 1638, and the men returned to Egypt in June 1639 after successfully capturing the city. Reportedly, Mehmet Pasha robbed many of the local emirs and alaymas of their salaries and inheritances as well as doing the same for the general populace and extorting considerable sums from local farmers. However, when he sent a report of the expenditures of the public welfare system in place at the time to the Sultan, Murad Evi ordered him to stop all welfare payments to women. This action created anger amongst the populace, as many of these women were widows or in poverty. Since his coming into office, Mehmet Pasha and a local emir, Emir el Haj Ridwan Bey al Fakhari, shared a mutual animosity. Although at first Ridwan Bey had gained Mehmet Pasha's favor by promising him a large sum of money in exchange for making him commander of the detachment sent to the Sultan for Baghdad, their relationship turned sour when Ridwan Bey put off payment to the point that Mehmet Pasha ended up withholding that money from the amount given to Ridwan Bey for reimbursing him for the expenses spent by the caravan of the troops on their way to Baghdad. When Ridwan Bey grew enraged at this and protested to the Pasha, he gave in and sent him the sum of money apparently vowing to get his revenge in some other way. His chance came when the Ottoman governor of Habesh Ayelet died. Mehmet Pasha convinced the Sultan to have Ridwan Bey succeed the dead governor and recalled Ridwan Bey back from the expedition towards Baghdad. Meanwhile, he appointed another emir to the post of Emir El Hajj. When Ridwan Bey arrived in Cairo, Mehmet Pasha sent him to the capital Constantinople. When the Baghdad expedition and the men returned to Cairo later, Mehmet Pasha proceeded to confiscate all of Ridwan Bey's belongings for his own. When Ridwan Bey arrived in Constantinople, the Sultan nearly put him to death for not coming to Baghdad and for being late to assume his post as governor of Herbesh. Although his allies saved him from execution, Ridwan Bey was sent to prison. However, he was reappointed to his post as Emir El Hajj by the next Sultan, Ibrahim, and regained all of his possessions that had been taken by Mehmet Pasha. After the coronation of the new Sultan Ibrahim, Mehmet Pasha grew alarmed that he did not receive the customary gifts that provincial governors customarily received upon the accession of new sultans. Taking this as a sign of Ibrahim's disliking of him, he was correct on this assumption, as soon the Sultan removed him from the governorship of Egypt in 1640, instead making him the governor of the Lesser Hejaz Vilaya. Mehmet Pasha refused to pay the large sum he was found to owe to the Egyptian treasury in an audit, but eventually paid. As Grand Vizier, in 1644, Mehmet Pasha succeeded Kemanx Mustafa Pasha, who was executed. Kermanx Mustafa was a victim of palace intrigues during the Sultanate of Women, involving the charlatan Sinchi Hoka. 
Wary of Sinchi Hoka's influence on the Sultan and well aware the fate of the previous Grand Vizier, Mehmet Pasha was excessively cautious in governance and became an ineffective Grand Vizier. He became a sycophant to the Sultan. According to Lord Kunras, one day the Sultan asked Mehmet Pasha why he never opposed any of his opinions, to which Mehmet Pasha replied, Every opinion of the Sultan has a deep aphorism even if subjects are unable to understand, although he was against declaring war on the Republic of Venice. His cautious objections were not taken into consideration and the Cretan War began in 1645, later years. In 1645, Sultan Ibrahim dismissed Mehmet Pasha from office. His next mission was in Crete, which was the theatre of the recently started war, as the commander of the army. Soon afterwards, however, Mehmet Pasha died in July 1646.